The Philippine Central Bank has unexpectedly cut its benchmark interest rate by half a percentage point. The key interest rate is now 2.75%. It's trying to keep the economy afloat as it battles the pandemic. The country's finance minister says the best case scenario is zero economic growth this year despite massive spending. After years of releasing the most expensive smartphones on the market, Apple has unveiled a budget-friendly iPhone. At $399, the updated iPhone SE is meant to appeal to buyers in the current economic climate. The stripped-down model doesn't have 5G capabilities nor facial recognition. Apple bypassed its usual flashy product launch and announced the new model on Twitter. But analysts say the new phone is unlikely to be a hit in China, where 5G capability or compatibility is now commonplace.